Okay, this is uh, about the problem with slow filling on a Jeep. This is a 06 that is different than the other TJs before it. And there's just several minor things. But uh, you'll find that these are your differential breather tubes that are tied to the filler neck with zip ties and you can go up from underneath there's one little christmas tree thing that holds this in and the rest just pop up in there take those off you have two connectors up here and you kind of have to be patient some people say they're super easy to get out i don't know if mine were different but one came up pretty easy, and then the second one, which looks more like a vent than anything else. It doesn't look like the fuel goes through it, but that was hard. And then uh, the other problem I had was the uh, electrical connector. Uh, what I ended up doing was removing the uh, ties for the harness up underneath the frame and that way I was able to bring the tank all the way down on the ground and then get it off you do slide the little red tab to the side like you see it right there and then you have to pinch remember to pinch this to get that to come off once you pinch that then it'll release it so that's something that's a little bit difficult the uh, tank itself some people say that there's different connectors plastic ring or whatever the 06 has a metal ring and uh, the uh, tube for the uh, uh, emissions goes up on the right hand side and if you open up that flap the same way you did on the other side you can get to it without having to remove any other parts so this is the passenger side you open this up and then the uh, tube is up in there and it's the same thing it's got those little pinch connectors and it'll save you some trouble some people try to disconnect all of them off the top of the tank and uh, you don't have to so you can see you have this one which is the emissions uh, that goes on the passenger side and then you have the fuel line which is going to go on the fuel pump and then this one here that's a vent like uh, emissions um, I left this on I did take the outside bezel off just to give me more room and I was able to see what was going on down inside there made it a bit easier I took off the tires because you're gonna have to be sitting right down in this area it makes it a lot easier to get the bolts off um, this is the fuel pump it's a little bit different than predecessors to the 06 where the sending unit is down here uh, they say that you can buy that it's uh, over a hundred dollars to buy the sending unit itself and three hundred dollars for the whole new fuel pump I figure this vehicle is 12 years old I don't want to go through all this trouble and then find out that my fuel pump dies on me I was also having a problem where my gas gauge would go to zero and uh, check engine light would come on and that has to do with the contacts in here wearing out from what I understand uh, either way it uh, if you're with other people and they can tell you how much fuel they have then you're all right but if you're by yourself you don't know how much you have so anyhow the slow to fill everybody knows is this little piece and what happens is these little tiny ribs there's three sets of them that they don't there there isn't anything that they slide into and that's what I originally thought they just act as um, 
distance, I guess. I don't know what else to call it to keep it from inside this plastic. So once this is all done, uh, I mean, you can use a fingernail file to file those down. You hear people talk about moto tools and dremels and uh, you don't need to do that. I just took a little tiny burnishing file and just took that edges off just a tiny bit. And when you pull it out, you'll see how it's it gets stuck inside there. And uh, once you take those off, you know, now you can see that this just slides up and down inside there super easy. You do have to reach your arm down inside the tank and get around because this part snaps up inside here. And all you got to do is just kind of torque it a little bit gently and uh, it, will, it will pop off. So anyhow... Uh, I hope this all solves my problem with slow to fill. Um, the new fuel pump should correct my problem with my gas gauge going to zero. And uh, getting the tank out is, is not easy. Getting all the nuts off, that's the easy part. Uh, getting the hoses and dropping it down without damaging anything is a little bit different. But uh, I'm an old guy and I'd say that it took me about maybe hour and a half two hours and it'll probably take me at least that long or longer to get it back up in there so anyhow uh what i'll do is i'll clean this up what i did is washed it real good because this was packed with dirt and uh, you can still see there's still some there um, i had junk down inside my tank and what i did was i just used a hose and sucked it up and blew it into a pail so anyhow if you have this problem all i can say is good luck but you can save yourself a lot of money uh, the dealer will not fix this they want to replace the tank so that's uh over 500 dollars. and the problem with the fuel pump you know uh, fuel pump runs you 300 dollars and uh They'll probably charge you $600 to put it in. So if you have uh, a little bit of mechanical skills, you won't have any issue. Good luck. Just as a, a wrap up on this, I, I do have to say that this is not an easy thing to go through. Um, I probably spent several hours trying to get it out the tank and then uh, using the chisel and beating on the steel ring to get the fuel pump out took me quite a while the reverse process of putting the fuel pump back in I beat on that and beat on it with the chisel and a stepping hammer and I could not get that ring to lock back in uh, was very frustrated uh, if you've looked at enough of these videos you've seen that Chrysler sells a tool and I guess it's very expensive you can buy an aftermarket adjustable spanner type wrench uh, again if you can find it not cheap so I fortunate enough that uh, I can do welding and fabrication so in about 20 minutes I made my own tool to replace that steel ring that holds the fuel pump in and this is a 06 Rubicon TJ and uh, I think it is a little bit different than the TJ's before it uh, it kind of stands out on its own but anyhow uh, I made this spanner wrench. Uh, it's got three points on it. Um, and I made it so that it, uh, that the tabs are curved to fit to the, the ring. And even, even with this wrench, uh, it is a hollow tube. I had to put a steel bar inside there to get more leverage and uh, just wasn't as easy getting it back on 
So all I can say is the erratic gas gauge, um, check engine light, that was my sensor, or I mean uh, uh, sending unit on the fuel pump, and I chose to replace the whole pump. And then the slow to fill was absolutely the valve inside the tank. And now it's been several weeks later, I've gone on several trips with the Jeep, and uh, zero problems. Fills right up, uh, and the gas gauge works. So probably the slow to fill was the most annoying problem, because it would take, you know, 20, 30 minutes to try to fill the tank. So if you're going to attempt this, uh, you can save yourself uh, at least uh, $1,500. Uh, the dealer won't fix the slow to fill problem other than that they will replace the tank so if you have them do it um, it's going to cost you a bunch of money same thing with the fuel pump if you choose to have the dealer do it it's going to cost you a bunch of money so if you have uh, some mechanical skills uh, definitely tackle it good luck